Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Help, I Bought a Farm for Farming Simulator 22. And since it's Monday, I thought I would do a My 5 Monday mods for you. Uh, so I've got some, some mods for you, I've got 5 mods in actual fact. Um, now these mods, they're not my top mods, but they are among the mods that I tend to use for my game to help enhance my gameplay. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking with today's mods. So the first mod I've got here is my large honey pallet spawn. Um, now if you ever use bees on your farm, you'll notice you go into animals and bees these are all your beehives here there's your large beehive and the base game spawn point for the honey pallets is just this tiny little square and i think it only spawns about one pallet at a time so you have to keep going to the, the pallet spawn and remove the pallet so the next one can spawn which is quite time consuming but my more honey pallets mod has got a variety of larger spawn points right up into to 32 which I've got here and this now brings me on to my second mod for the day and it is the auto load mod um, that some of you are probably already aware of I'll just bring up the controls so you can see there and with the auto load mod all we need to do is bring our trailer up close to the pallets and press sh left shift and R start loading that just saves a lot of faffing about with um with forklifts and front loaders and and the likes my third mod for the day will be my tmr that's total mix ration and mixing station and that can be found in your construction menu under production and scroll along to the end where the mods usually are and here we are, I've got two variations just a different colour exactly the same at the back we've got our interaction point here it's quite loud so I'll just step back a bit uh, but we can actually, if we press escape and go into our production chains, you can see here total mix ration and it requires silage, hay, mineral feed and straw and at the end we get total mix ration. Your mineral feed can be placed in the black and yellow boxed area as such. And your hay, your straw, and your silage have got their own little storage compartments. And then to get your total mix ration out, I tend to use a small tractor just so it can fit under here. And a small trailer. I could probably use a bigger trailer than that. And we just try and get a better angle there for you. Press our R button to fill the trailer from the total mix ration that the factory has nicely created for us. My fourth mod for the day is my... It's called potato storage, but it's it, it really holds all root vegetables. There's not much for root vegetables or root vegetable storage in the base game. 
but I managed to find this uh, root vegetable storage. So that can be found in your construction menu and it's under silos and it's a root crop storage mod and that's us here. Uh, it can hold 800,000 litres of root crops and to build it, it costs $100,000. And when we're ready, when we've got our root crops, all we need to do is bring it into the black and yellow boxed area. Now this will hold um, parsnips, carrots, potatoes, uh, sugar beets and beet root. Oh, I might not be in the right. Not oh, there we are. Quite a large trailer. And there we go, you can see it going in there in the conveyor belt. It's pretty cool. That's just to allow us to store our root festivals on our farm. And then when it comes time to sell your root vegetables you just bring it round to the box the black and yellow box area at the back press R and then we'll, let's uh, oh, let's just take the sugar let's take the beet, let's take the red beets back out then I'll put them in I'll take them back out and there we have it my fifth and final mod for today is the sugar beet cutting factory. Now if you're familiar with how to cut sugar beets and to, and to cut sugar beet funnily enough um, it's quite a long drawn process. So I managed to find a, a sugar beet cutting factory. It looks the same as my lime factory but this one will cut sugar beets and it can be found in the store you're under production and again scroll along to the end wherever your mods are and there we have it there the sugar beet cutting factory there takes in sugar beets and output is cut sugar beets and it costs fifty thousand dollars to build it and all we need to do is bring our trailer load of sugar beets up to the black and yellow box area Tip them in as such. You can operate the factory in your production chains. Sugar beet there, sugar beet fuck, uh, sugar beet cutting factory. You can so activate it and deactivate it um, with, the, with the on PC. It's the return key on the keyboard, and you see there sugar beets going in and cut sugar beets coming out. And then. And it's time to bring your cut sugar beets, either to sell them or to take them to the uh, the biogas plant. It's just a case of driving up to the black and yellow box area again and press R. And your output is the cut sugar beets. Well folks, that does it for my five Monday mods. Uh, hopefully you find the video enjoyable and helpful. Please let me know in the comments uh, any mods that you use and if I don't have them I'll give them a try. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying this long if you're still here and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.